This is Amy, and believe it or not, she's a witch. She might not look like much, mostly because she isn't. She can barely cast a spell, hates wearing pointy hats and witchy clothes, and is a complete and utter failure in the eyes of her coven. Which is probably why they banished her, took all of her belongings, and told her she can't return until she can prove she has what it takes. She's now clothless, clueless, homeless, and overall, a bad witch. What's up guys, and welcome to A Bad Witch. This is a mini-series that I'm going to be doing in The Sims 4 over the next few weeks, where hopefully we're going to be able to help Amy here out with her little situation. How we're going to go about doing that, I'm not totally sure yet, but I do have an idea where to start. There are stories of a hermit that lives in the deepest part of Granite Falls Woods, and in his possession is a book that can make any Sim more powerful than a witch. Now I know what you guys are thinking, we could go to this hermit and we could ask for his tutelage, we could buckle down and try to learn how to become a better witch, but that stuff seems like a lot of work, so I figured, why don't we just steal the book? Fortunately for us, even though Amy is a bad witch, she's still a witch, so she managed to conjure up some money, a cell phone, oh god. Yeah, I was hoping that we would be able to get through this and get on the road before anybody decided to come over. I'm having a bad day, okay? I don't need to be judged right now. Why is it party time at the pier? Guys, I clearly don't want company. Don't sit down next to me. Okay, you know what? We're going on a vacation, and I'm gonna remember you. Okay, so the travel wasn't nearly as bad as I would have expected. I think the hard part is gonna be looking around in these woods for a hermit when we have no idea where we're going. Um, hi? Can I help you? She walked clear past me. It's like she didn't even see me. What are you? That is the cabin that I'm staying in? Oh, you're just gonna wave at the door. Hello friends, I'm Annabelle, your friendly forest ranger. I'm chock full of camping knowledge, so if you ever have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Okay, here's a question. Why do the mosquitoes keep going for my tits? I don't think she's the hermit. I don't even think she's all there, really, because I kind of stand out, right? Just standing here naked in the next to a bear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did you want to maybe do something about that? Shoot it. Defend me. No. Nothing. Okay, actually, you know what? Can we talk to the bear? Yeah, let's let's introduce ourselves to the bear. Because if anybody knows the forest, maybe it's you? Hi. I'm looking for a hermit. He lives here in the woods. Yeah, he sleeps here, I would imagine, because he lives here. Have you seen him? He's been throwing his garbage in the woods. That's not very nice. Yeah, bears don't like garbage very much. Yes, I know I'm naked. You're naked too. Okay, we can move past it with the balloon animals. Do you have any idea where he lives? You know, I need direction. Anywhere. Just just point. That'd be perfectly fine because I have no... Travel in the direction of the sun? I mean, I can probably do that. You see, the, the bear was more helpful than you were. Yeah, bear, you might want to get out of here. I don't know if I really trust her. She doesn't look like the kind to shoot a bear, but uh, she might snap at any minute, really. Not like that, I mean emotionally. And there she goes. Okay, nice meeting you, crazy lady Annabelle. Oh, the bear is still here. Just kind of checking out my ass. Okay, you know what? Thank you very much for the directions. I'm, I'm gonna go look for a hermit now. Not gonna lie, really hope we lost that bear. He seemed nice enough, but I don't really want to be in the forest with a bear alone. And uh, we've been wandering around for a while. It's really hard to follow the sun in a forest that's uh, super dense, right? You know, you can't really see a whole lot of anything. But we have found a cabin, which doesn't look very hermity to me. There's, there's people walking around. Uh, hello? No. Come to think of it. Probably good that this isn't the right place because I wouldn't want to walk up and yell hello. Amy, you're not just a bad witch, you're a terrible witch. So what is this place? This is, uh, rainbow fireflies. Huh. Okay. Oh, this is probably where the crazy lady lives, right? I bet you this is where Annabelle likes to hang out. Do you think she has any clothes for me? I don't even see a bed. Okay. Well, I guess we need to keep looking. Yes. In retrospect, following the directions of a bear might have not been the best idea, on top of the fact that uh, the sun is going down and that's literally the only hint that I have, but I'm seeing something up here in the distance that doesn't look normal. 
Yeah, here we go. Okay, we found something just in the nick of time because it is almost pitch black out here. Is that the... Oh, no, okay. This is like the entry to where he lives. I was gonna say, it's gonna be really hard to steal a book from a hermit who lives in a bush. Okay, just just head in there. Don't scratch a teddy. That's the last thing that we need. Hello? Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> Stealth. Gotta keep it. Okay. Exploring the brambles, surrounded by thicket thorns and danger most assuredly, Amy is left with only one decision, step forward or retreat from adventure. Oh, no, no. Step forward. Of course. We didn't come all this way to step back. Anything? Oh, here we go. <laughs> After several minutes of hacking furiously through the brush, a large web is blocking Amy's way. One would prefer a web is not paired with a spider. We're a witch! We don't really care about spiders, right? Let's go through the web. We wear them on our hats and stuff like that. I'm sure we should be okay. Hopefully it's not a really, really big spider. Um, Amy marches through the brush in high spirits, swinging arms and singing songs when a shiny object catches her eye. Ah, temptation. Okay. I don't think that the hermit is going to be a shiny object, so we're just going to ignore it. We're here for a book. We're here for a hermit. Everything else is going to have to be ignored. Amy has navigated the nigh-foiling foliage to discover a sacred cove in the midst of the forest. Yes, a cove uh, containing a mysterious sim. Travel towards the sim, right? I think we found it. I don't think we found it. It's just an empty part of the forest. There's nothing here. Why did we come to this place? Oh, okay, no, never mind. There is a little house. Yeah, that's a house. Okay, that looks like a place that a hermit would live. Let's go over here and hide in the bushes and just scope out the place. I think it's safe to say that that is probably the hermit, right? Doing woodworking looks pretty old. He's right in front of the front door, though, so I'm not totally sure how we're going to manage to sneak in, right? We might just need to keep an eye on him for a little while. I mean, it's uh, it's 11.30 at night. Oh, here we go. I think he's bound to go to bed eventually. Hermit sleep. What is he doing? Oh, no. Hermits apparently also eat potato chips. Okay, that might be a pre-sleep snack. Just, we're gonna wait it out. Ooh, ooh. Yes, here we go. Go to bed. Nobody is gonna break into your house and steal your powerful books. Okay. I think we're finally in business. Yes, okay, he's sleeping. So we are gonna go in and we need to look through this dump for a book, right? Where would there be a book? He seems to have a lot of books. This is, this might take a long time. Okay, we can open this up and yeah, he's got a whole ton of books. What have we got here? Love in the time of sandwiches. I don't think that's the powerful book we're looking for. Untamed treachery of the heart? Reel her in? This is just a bunch of weird romance books. I did not need to know that that's what he reads in his spare time. Okay, where would you keep a super powerful book? There isn't a whole lot to this shack. Uh, you have a basement. Ooh, ooh, here we go. Now we're talking. There are so many books here. <laughs> we're gonna be here forever. Like I've been saying, Amy's a bad witch. But she's still a witch. She has a few tricks. Steel bars. Really, guy? Okay, so where do we start? Because there are like hundreds and hundreds of books here. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that that's the one that we're looking for. The Book of Chaos. Torture and cause chaos to those who are unworthy to live. Okay. Unless you can teleport into the case, grab the book, and teleport out, then I'm not really sure. Did you guys hear that? Where is he? Oh, okay. No, he's awake. He's gardening. Okay, that is still a problem. We now need to try to get the book and get away from him. Can we read the book? Yes, we can read it through the glass. Okay. Um, let's make him puke? Yeah, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was cool. Did it work at all? Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, that might not have been the best distraction. He looks like one to vom and move on. Okay, new plan. We're gonna make him piss himself, and then when he has to go take a shower and change his pants and stuff like that, because hermits, they don't like swimming in pee. Uh, that's a figure of speech. I didn't actually mean swim in your pee. 
I didn't actually mean drown in your pee. Oh my god, we killed him. Oh, what did you do, Amy? Listen, Grim, I'm a big fan of your work. I've been following you since the beginning. Oh, come on. I am in so much trouble. I must have mispronounced something. Didn't cross a T dot an I. Yes, okay, a guy just drowned in his own piss and you're distracted by boobs. Can we stay on topic? All right, Jeff, I'm gonna give it up. That was my bad. I think I'm gonna take you with me because if we can use the book to become a better witch, maybe we can bring him back to life eventually. Yes, Grim, I'm still naked. You better get the hell out of here. I'm gonna come over there and punch you right in your faceless face. I mean, we could technically just live here, but I, I think I would rather be homeless, you know? I feel really, really bad taking a guy's house after making him drown in his own pee. A book, you know, it it's not as big of a deal. First order of business, uh, other than killing a guy, is gonna be to get some clothes because I'm tired of being naked. Hey, you know what? It's pretty good. And the second order of business is gonna to be to actually read some of this book. We're not gonna use it for anything. We're gonna read through it. We're gonna get a good understanding and then we can return to the other witches and hopefully we'll be worth- I wouldn't do that if I were you. And who are you? <laughs> who I am doesn't matter anymore thanks to you. While you were upstairs wasting your time with the Reaper, I was downstairs making sure that my soul would not leave this plane. I bound myself to the book, and after a thousand years of living in this cottage, I died drowning in my own piss at the hands of a bad witch. Oh, so are you gonna be talking the whole time? It's literally all I can do now. Great. While I have your attention, I just wanted to say that you really have a rockin' pair of <laughs> Okay, you know what? That's enough out of the book for now. We have learned that there are a couple of easier spells in here, hopefully some non-lethal stuff, so maybe we can go give those a try. Just the woman that I was looking for, and fishing on the job, how dare she? And you know what? She's clearly not all there. She needs some kind of help, maybe help that's beyond human capabilities. How about Alien? What if we try to get her abducted? Is that gonna do anything? Woo, woo, woo. Oh my God, are you kidding me? That is amazing. I can summon alien. See you later, Annabelle. <laughs> oh, that was great. Wait a minute. Didn't that let me pick? Like it, it gave me the option to choose multiple Sims. Can I get lots of people abducted? Yeah, you better watch out. You're next. Maybe Mr. Albert just ate the wrong thing. It's not settling well with him. He happens to have a bit of an accident. Do you think we can actually make it work this time without killing him? There's a good idea. Okay, do you want an apology? We're sorry. It didn't go as planned. We're gonna fix things. Okay, that worked pretty well. We're two for two. Two for three. Shut up. Okay, we're gonna go back to the big city. We're gonna end our vacation. I think the next logical step is to see if we can do the same thing, but affect multiple Sims at once. These protesters seem to be anti-Earth, as if they wish to leave. And truth be told, I kinda came here for some kebab and wouldn't mind eating in peace. So how about we oblige their wish? How about we get them a ticket out of here? Oh my god. We can use it on anybody. I really have no idea who's over here. Who looks like they might be guilty? Should we just have everybody abducted? No, I can't do that because then there'll be nobody left to sell me kebab. Oh, what? Okay, wait, I think some of them might be a little bit delayed. Yep, here come the rest. Okay, I must have asked for too many to show up. Some of them were busy. It's like when you call up six or seven taxis at once and they're just gonna show up at different times, you know? They're all working their own schedule. Well then, good to know. So we didn't even screw up, it was, it was their fault. Oh, would you look at that? They do end up getting dropped back off. That's good, I was concerned that they would take them forever, but no, just a temporary trip. Did you guys learn your lesson yet? Do you like Earth a little bit more now? Appreciate. Whoa, buddy, look, I don't know you. You can take your muffin and get moving. Yeah, that's right, I'll burn you to death. Listen, lady, I'm not interested in being friends with regular people like you, so you can just keep on moving. 
All right, I don't want to encourage him, but I have to ask, why do we have two books? One looks like it's from the depths of hell, and then the other one looks like the one that was in the basement. One is an illusion, a disguise to hide the book's power. Okay, I guess that makes sense. And why won't these guys get the hint? Like, I don't want you to sit with me. I don't want to hang out with normal people. They want a piece of that sweet ass. Okay, you know what? Maybe we should just try the book. Maybe they would like to, um... They seem to enjoy their food. Maybe they would like to taste it again. How about that? So who are these guys? We got this guy, and we got, uh, maybe you? I can't- oh no, it's you. Okay, I can't really tell. They all look the same. Was it good the second time? Yep, I would imagine. No, you can't tip a busker with that. <laughs> okay, you see, I'm not a very nice person to hang around. Kind of like this lady, right? You wouldn't go sit next to her. <laughs> what in the name of God? <laughs> see, you're the kind of person that I want to hang out with. Having a book with some power is nice, but we're still homeless, and I don't think it's gonna put a roof over my head, so we might need to find a place to spend the night. I remember a friend getting married here once, you know, back when we had friends, and this place was kind of open and pretty decked out. We might be able to spend the night in here. Doesn't look like there's anybody around. There's a kitchen. There's um, a couch for us to sleep on, a fireplace to keep us warm. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Bathroom, we're good. This is practically our public home. Hopefully nobody bothers us, but I guess it's better than sleeping on a bench next to the crazy luchador lady. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode of A Bad Witch, guys. And so far, we're off to a pretty good start. We're not completely homeless. We're not naked anymore. We've gained a little bit of power. We're moving up. So I think I'm gonna do another episode on Tuesday because the vampire game pack comes out. And as you can imagine, vampires moving into the neighborhood is something that a witch might take particular interest in. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to leave a like on the video, leave a comment, let me know, and let me know what you think of the series. You know, this is the first mini series that I've done on the Sims ever. I've done a lot of Sims videos, but I've never done a mini series. And so far, I'm having a lot of fun, but I would love to know what you guys think. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.